guys. Um, sorry this lighting's really bright. I'm still trying to get a fluorescent light. Hey, baby. Um, he says hi. <laughs> um, here, I'll let you, I'll zoom you in. This is just a random smokey I came up with. It's actually kind of wearable. It looks, it may look a little dramatic on camera, but I think it looks wearable. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just paired with, uh, some pink lips, and, yeah, I'm, before I forget to say it, um, I'm, the whole plan of this was to use three eyeshadows, uh, three twice shadows from Glamour Doll Eyes, just use them in any way that I could, like for the mascara and everything, you'll see it in the actual tutorial, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna go before he hurts himself on this table and desk thing or breaks something and I hope you guys like this sorry it's not really a Halloween look I guess if you don't really want to dress up for Halloween you could wear this out um I always forget what I want to say but yeah so on to this tutorial uh, if you guys like it please comment like subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later bye alright so I already have foundation on and I have my primer on and I filled up my brows usual with me. Um, didn't want to fill them in as dark, yet somehow they still look as dark. I don't know. <laughs> um, for foundation, it's you saying that it's darker than my natural skin, but I haven't bought foundation in a while. Anyway, I'm going to take this off liner brush. It's just a flat liner brush. And I'm going to take um, black ice. It's just a matte black with silver glitter in it. And then have your mixing medium ready. It can be water, eye drops, Fix Plus from MAC, just something. I just put water in a little spray bottle. And uh, get black eyes on the end of that brush. And then just get that wet. And then line your eye like you would with eyeliner. Um, with the rest of it, just kind of put it all over the lid just like you would with like a cream base or something I'm just going to take a fluffy brush just to defuse this because this is a lot darker than what I had for um, the other eye so you get something like that um, ignore this I'm just going to wipe it off in a little bit but now, um, just take a 224 or just any fluffy brush and just kind of blend out the edges so it's not just like a line of black. And then with your 252 or flat shader brush of choice, um, I'm going to take Mood Swing. It's just like a like a cornflower, cornflower blue, like you know that random blue crown that you would get in the box and you'd be like, I don't want to use this color, it's ugly. Eyeshadow wise it's pretty and it has a lot of sparkles in it. Try not to spill it. That's that. It's really, really pretty. I never really mess around with these and um so I did and I came up with this. Obviously I wouldn't be making a tutorial. Um just get a little bit of that on the brush, tap away the excess. Get that just a little damp and then pat that on top of the black. Um, go back over it with the 224 just to spread out the color. Because you don't want it to be an intense blue, you just kind of want it there to be a, that blue sheen. So it kind of makes like a grayish color. And just get a little bit of um, that onto a, that blending brush that you're using. Tap away a lot of the excess. You don't want there to, to be that much because this is just going to to be where the blue fades out. And then take Family Secret. It's like the perfect uh, highlight color. It's just a white with a lot of sparkle in it. And take the 224 and then put that underneath your brow and in the inner corner. Like that. Take the 252 
get a little bit of mood swing on to the tip of it like that get that wet and put that on the lower lash line you can blend it with your finger no <laughs> um check your finger <laughs> before you blend it because black ice yeah that's the name of it right yeah black ice is a bitch like it does not come off it stains your fingers it's a true true matte black because it sticks which is a good thing unless this in this case it happens like this if that made sense just kind of <laughs> try your best to sweep that away I might just go back over it with um, concealer or something but just take more of mid swing put that there and blend it and then take the elf liner brush with the black ice on it just push that up against the lash line just so a little bit of that black transfers over and for some reason this is darker or on this side so I'm just going to get this wet a little bit and swing get a little bit of black ice into that liner brush just a tiny bit get that wet and then just tap that over on the outer edge and then take a random pencil brush and blend that when it comes to your waterline you can um, use an eyeliner like I said in the beginning, I'm trying to use all three of these to complete the whole eye look. So, for mascara, I'm just going to curl my lashes. Um, this is my e.l.f. And what I did when I curl my lashes is, I just start at the base, just press it a couple times, go up, a couple more times, and at the ends. Um, I learned that from X Sparkage from watching her videos. Um, and I kind of noticed what, how she explains it. If you just do it at the base, it just kind of goes like, like that. <laughs> if you do it, like in the parts, it's like a full curl instead of just like that shape. <laughs> um, just take that liner brush, get black ice onto the tip, tap away the excess, um, spray this a couple of times, and then run this through your lashes like mascara. You can use actual mascara if you want. I just thought this would be a fun little way to use use it. Sorry I didn't finish that. <laughs> and then same for the bottom lashes. Like that. Now like I said if you you can use regular mascara if you want. Um, as, like I said, I just thought it'd be fun. Now, with your blush brush, this is my 168. I'm going to take this uh, peachy color out of my Coastal Sin 10 blush, wait, you know, 10 color blush palette. And just put that in the apples and blend it back. And then take the pink on the edge. And just put a little bit of that into the apples. And then the Big Easy from Cargo, I got this a while back, looks like that, let's go over it with that. And then for the highlight, you can use Family Secret, um, I guess I will because I did it on the other side, but it's just a really glittery color, so what I'm going to do when I go off camera before I take pictures is... Um, go over it with my face powder just so it's not as crazy like 
that. And then for my lips, I'm going to use um, Viva Glam Gaga. You could really use any pink lip for this or nude lip. Um, I'm going to go over it with Smashbox's Prep lip gloss. That. that way it just kind of adds a unique color tint to it. And, so yeah, I hope you like this. If you do, please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, sorry, I just misplaced my, not misplaced, I don't know. So, there's some fossil coming in here, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.